உனக்கு என்ன அவ என்ன நான் தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் அம்மாவ கேளு Since I started making my short films 20 years ago, it's always been about the Indian person in Singapore, the average Indian person living in Singapore because I'm Indian myself. So I was always I always wanted to give a voice to the community, to the Indian uh average Indian person and I thought that was very important for me to do that at that time because there were not many Indian films at that time being made in Singapore and I was also searching for my identity. So all my films have that element or theme about it. So even with Yellowbird it it was the same because I was looking at myself as an Indian person a minority living in Singapore uh and uh, was questioning about who am I you know uh why do people ask me where are you from instead of you know accepting me as a Singaporean the thought that I wanted to uh show how the Indian person in in the country uh, what are his experiences because everyone would see this person on the streets in your everyday life so they would connect with him quite easily because they're very familiar with him you know he's an ordinary uh person uh that you meet every day either in the train or in a coffee shop or some uh, or any place like that it's also about space you know uh, constantly negotiating our space uh, in you know the space we live in the physical space the emotional space the mental space i have siva kumar who is the lead actor i have uh, huang lu who's uh, also an actress from china who's here uh, she she did a main role in the film as well and i have seema bishwas from india she's a well renowned actress as well she's done bandit queen and uh, water and she was also part of my film which is i'm i'm very proud of and i've udaya she will also play the character she's also a very well known tv actress in uh, singapore siva is a person who likes challenges he likes to be pushed he's a very intuitive actor and so it was a very difficult film for him because you know he was there from the beginning to the end of the film and i had to really you know give it, you know he needed a lot of stamina to complete the film so you know but i could push him and he likes to take these challenges so i think that's a very uh, interesting thing about him as an actor and then i had huang lu from uh, china uh, she was there with me all the way she was very committed uh, she wanted to do uh, a really really good uh, job on this film In fact there was one scene that I was filming and we both looked at each other and she knew I didn't really really like it and she said give me one more uh, chance the next day because we already ended the shoot and uh, she said I need I need to redo this scene one more time and I I can do it you know I can really do the scene very well and she did it and I think it is the reach it's the presti- I mean it's a very prestigious uh festival the Cannes Film Festival it's world renowned everyone knows about the festival and they know how difficult uh, the selection process is in order to get your film uh to the festival itself uh because there are thousands of films that come here from around the world and only about 50 films are being selected and this year we have two singapore films and i think it's a it's something that we have to be really be proud of i mean i'm personally very proud of and and my team as well that uh because you know uh, it's something we we wanted but we didn't expect it because we know how difficult it is it's the first time i'm showing it uh to a wide audience and also away from singapore i mean my f- i i really want singaporeans to watch it because i think their response will be really be special but having a response an international audience here in khan watching the film i mean it's i hope they really like it uh, and they give me their feedback and tell me what they thought of it because uh, it's some maybe an aspect of singapore that they don't know about